Hi, I'm Martin from Real Estate and you're in my room. Well, yeah, here's some stuff in my apartment. Um, there's these drawings that my grandpa did that are kind of cool. Um, Winston Churchill and um, this guy, who I can never remember who that is, but he's somewhat famous. This, this thing here was, um, it was a wedding gift from our friends uh, Marty and Jules who are in the band Twerps. Yeah, and that one right there is um, by Kyle Field from Little Wings. Uh, I played guitar with him last year at a show and um, I kind of bugged him to give me that because he was selling some of his art at the show. And yeah, so, you know, I like having, you know, things by people that I know. I think it's kind of interesting and cool. This Chopin, <laughs> uh, who I've had that for like, I don't know how long, like my whole life. Um, I think it was probably my dad's. I don't know, here's the test pressing for our new seven inch, two of them. Um, this is like the bonus seven inch that's gonna come with the record. It's like two, two non-album songs. This is like our, like Todd rundgren tune that we made. We're pretty stoked about this one. <laughs> Yeah, we did this in one take. Like Matt played keyboard, and he's never played keys in a, in like real estate before. And he just kind of like sat there with his like synth on his lap and just busted this song out. Like he didn't play one bad sounding note the whole time. And we did it all live in the room in one take late at night. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I like my stereo a lot. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's nice. Like, it's good to know that like your shit sounds good, and like so, like when we get the new record, like test pressing, I can sit here and like turn it up and you know either be really happy about it or be like this sounds really shitty. And what else? Here's well, these are two of my guitars. Um, this one's like my Martin, which I got earlier this year and I really love it a lot. Um, it's probably like one of the nicer things that I own. <laughs> um, and it sounds really great and it, I played it on I think every uh, song on the new record. So, um, like we recorded in the Wilco loft where there were probably dozens of way older and nicer Martins and Gibsons and acoustics uh, of all you know, makes and models, but um, I just really like the way that guitar sounds. And then this guitar is like a tiny, it's a half size Yamaha nylon string guitar that I bought in Chicago when we were on tour one time. Um, at the beginning of a tour, it was like a hundred bucks. I would recommend anybody who wants to learn how to guitar, play guitar, get one of these, because it was really cheap and it's really easy to play. And it was like really nice to have it in the van, you know, you can just kind of throw it in the back of the van and like if you're sitting back there you can strum on it. Um, and I actually wrote probably most of the new record on that thing too, so. Um, that my uncle gave me when I was a little kid and for some reason I just have held on to it. Um, and I only have one, so. He doesn't even hunt, like I don't know where he got that thing, like he probably found it on the ground. Matt also from real estate has one of these, but he didn't, he doesn't have the flash. Um, and I've always admired his Olympus, so um, I had to buy it. But yeah, it's, it's really nice because the flash comes off so it can be really small. And, compact and takes good photos. And then there's this, I dropped it on the floor at 285 Kent and the whole front piece broke off, but it still works, so. What else can I show you? You know, we had that, the, uh, the mural that we wanted to use for the cover of the record and we couldn't figure out how to make it look good. Eventually, we realized, or I realized, like I had bought that book because I kind of just liked the cover and it seemed like, you know, I want, it seemed like something I wanted to learn about, so I bought it and I read it, and it's a cool book. Um, 
and I just really liked the covering, so I was just like, what if we just kind of took that mural and like replaced the mural, or replaced these guys with the mural and pretty much just ripped off that book cover, and that's what we did. I don't know if that's something we want to tell people, but I'll tell people that, because I think it's cool. Um, and you know, everything comes from somewhere, so.